Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service Missoula planning briefing for Thursday, November 30th. The key points, we have a winter storm system that is going to impact the region Friday through Sunday. This system is going to bring heavy snow in the mountains, light snow and mixed precipitation for the valleys. We'll see that highlighted Saturday and Sunday on the weather threat matrix. As far as the timing on this system, it's going to come in waves here. Well, we'll start to see precipitation moving into northern Idaho and northwest Montana early on Friday. Then it'll continue to progress south and east from there, spreading out across western Montana and north central Idaho by the time we get into Saturday. And really the bulk of the precipitation, the heaviest precipitation, is going to fall during the day on Saturday. And again, this is going to be mainly a mountain event for the uh, big snowfall totals here but also the light precipitation for area valleys. So here's a look at some of that snowfall potential. On the left side, percent chance of seeing two inches of snow or more through the entire event. Again, it's coming in waves. This will show the whole event from Friday morning through Sunday evening. Again, the chance of seeing those two inches is very high for places like Lookout Pass, the Lolo Pass, and over toward uh, Lost Trail Pass. Also in northwest Montana up against the divide, very high chance of seeing the two inches. You start to look at the valleys, there is still that chance of seeing a couple of inches, 38% in Kalispell, 31% in Polson as you go down into the Mission Valley, 25% there in Missoula, then it kind of drops off as you go south and east from there. But still the chance of seeing some minor valley accumulations. Again, heavy accumulations in the mountains on the right side is the chance of seeing eight inches of snow or more and 67% at Lolo Pass, 92% at Lookout Pass, and also some pretty high values up against the divide in northwest Montana. So again, big snow producer for them, uh, where the likelihood of seeing over eight inches is very high. So we'll take a quick look at the area mountain passes. Those are gonna be the primary affected regions for this system. First, we'll see Lookout Pass. Again, the prime time for that snow is Saturday morning through midday where you see the heaviest snow is going to fall, but again, the whole length of the event is stretching out Friday through Sunday. We'll take a look at low, low pass. You'll see similar on the timing. Total is a little less than lookout, but still a significant snowfall there. Lost Trail Pass, again, long duration event, but the peak of it occurring on a Saturday. And just a reminder, with any of these graphs, of course, you can pause and go back and uh, take a look, any specific ones you wanna see. Marias Pass, lesser amounts there, but once again, uh, snow accumulation through the weekend with the bulk of it occurring on Saturday. One thing to keep in mind here for the valleys, we are gonna see the chance of some mixed precipitation, especially Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then potentially again by Sunday evening. This would be a valley issue where the ground temperatures are going to be cold, so we could see a brief period of some freezing rain uh, mixing in with snow and rain, and it could lead to some slick spots out there. So this graphic is really just showing the areas that are being highlighted. Again, mainly the valleys there in northwest Montana, are sh those valleys are showing the highest chance of seeing any freezing rain. So that is something to keep an eye on, but we do think the uh, impact periods from freezing rain would be pretty limited and really kind of in that Saturday evening, and then again Sunday morning when we have those uh, coldest road temperatures. As we move forward, again, most of the forecast action is here in the next 48 to 72 hours. As we stretch into next week, we're looking warmer. There's a look at the temperatures. They are gonna be stretching there into the middle 40s for uh, most valley locations through the middle of next week. So that lines up well with the Climate Prediction Center, six to 10 day temperature outlook that has us heavily favored for above normal temperatures through December 9th. Now we are gonna keep this kind of active weather pattern with potentially more precipitation moving in by the end of next week. So that does put us in the favored region for above normal precipitation. So that's gonna do it for today's planning briefing. Our next scheduled briefing will be on Sunday, December 3rd. Of course, if you have any questions with this system moving in or any time, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.